Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Today what I want to talk about is the idea of caching data from a live market data stream for further analysis or collection. So we're going to be building off of the algorithmic trading system that we've been developing in the previous few videos. So if you haven't already checked those out, I would encourage you to do so. And like I said, we're going to be focusing on creating a data cache. Now, what do I mean by data cache? Well, as data flows in through our callback function, specifically in this case, I'm looking at option data. So it's going to flow back through the tick option computation callback function. I need to store it so that I can perform some sort of analysis or data collection for further analysis. And to do that, we're going to be creating a list in the API controller subclass of eWrapper. So within the constructor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and specify what I want to store. So I'm just going to say self dot deltas is equal to an empty list. And then I'm also going to say self dot option prices is equal to an empty list. And then I'm also going to say self dot underline prices is equal to an empty list. Okay, so now we have some empty lists. And if you haven't already guessed what's going to happen, we're going to go into our callback function. And every single time this callback function has new data, and it's not returning a none for a change in any one of these particular variables, we're going to append it to each of the respective lists. So I'm going to say if delta is not none, then I'm going to append the new delta to the list. And I'm going to do that for all of the variables that I want to store. So I'm going to say if option price is not none, then I'm going to append the new option price. And then lastly, if the underlying price is not none, then I'm going to append it as well. Okay, so, so let's think about what's going on here. Every single time new data gets returned from the server from our live market data stream, if there is no change, we're not going to append it to the list. But if there is a change, then we're going to append the changed variable to the respective list. So if delta changes, we'll append it to the deltas list. If the option price changes, we're going to append it to the option prices list. And if the underlying asset price changes, we'll append it to the underlying asset price list. So how, how can we reference this data? Well, fortunately, the trading application class is inheriting all of the fields from the API controller superclass. So if we wanted to reference at any point the lists in the API controller, I could simply just call the instance of the trading application. So if I said T is equal to trading application, and then further down here, I wanted to reference the option prices list, I could just say T dot op prices, and I would have access to that field in the API controller class. So let's just get a quick example of what's going on here. I booted up my instance of IB gateway and I logged into the paper trader. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the trading application running on its own thread as usual. And I'm going to create a loop down here that's going to continuously print out the contents of the deltas list. And to do that, I'm just going to say while true. And then I'm going to call time.sleep for one second. I might have to import time. I do. So I'm going to import time, call time.sleep. So I'm going to print it out every one second, and I'm going to print the contents of the deltas list, like I said. And to do that, as you can see, I'm referencing the instance of the trading application, and I'm referencing the deltas field, which is the deltas list that was created all the way up here in the API controller subclass of eWrapper. And that is essentially caching our data. So we could print this out to an Excel spreadsheet. We could export this to a text document. We can handle this however we want. I'm just giving you the example of printing it to the console. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. 
And as you can see, there's no change in the delta, but when there is a change in the delta, it appends it to the list. And we are effectively storing the delta for this security that I'm requesting a live market data stream for. And we can save this, we can export this, we can do whatever we want with this. Uh, and that's the beauty of this form of data caching.